that makes the greatest move of all. God is in the business of amen, blessing us. I'm blessed. When the man is saved, when he hasn't got a thing, he's a king. He's a king. So the whole wide world. I don't need nothing to give God the praise. I got everything I need. Somebody is born again. I'm not quite sure who it is. I know it's me. You hear me say saved. Saved means I'm saved from the wrath. Born again means I'm a changed creature. I'm born again. I'm born again. You don't have to go saved as a gift from the Saved means I'm saved from something. Born again means I'm changed to be saved. Yes, my God. My God. Thank you. I'm changed. Then I must have changed from something to something else. Yes, yes. All right. How do you call me change if we be in the same way? It's not possible. So that means that something happened in the space of a few seconds. Something transpired in the space of a matter of moments. Something took effect before I was done praying, Brother Cleveland. And my prayer was a long, Elder Jenna. I simply said, oh, Jesus. And somewhere between oh, Jesus and my next statement, something happened to me. Something that I can't fully articulate in words. I can't express the in intensity of what I feel because there's no words on planet Earth that is able to articulate it properly. But if I can just hear God on my shoulder, on my shoulder, I articulated it not through my tongue, but through the tongue that was granted me from the kingdom that I was born in. What is it real? Ah. Jesus. 35 years hasn't changed yet. Through the ins, the ups, the outs, the overs, the failures, the all the things that we think God is mad at. So I sit here today to tell you tonight that whatever you thought could hold you didn't. <laughs> whatever you thought was binding you wasn't. It was actually promoting you to get where you are right now. And even when the trials were fiery, it was heating you up. It got you juiced up to give God something. I don't know what it was God wanted, but you started giving him something. You put them on a prayer and a hand clap. So how did that, the more you call his name, Jesus. Through the ridicule. Through the accusation. Through the pain. of the jubilation of God. So they went down, he made the devil mad already. Oh yeah. Woo! Glory, Glory. He can get a lot of for the nice house. You know why? It's not because of how I'm going to preach. It's because how you're going to act on tomorrow. It's how the word that you hear is going to germinate while you sleep. And as a sunrise pre event, God gives you the right to live. Something other than, oh Lord, this is another day to worry about your mouth. You don't try to keep your mouth shut and you burst in the sun. You ever been on the circuit of the church and just want to be yelled out? Oh, you might just scream as loud as you do. I often wonder how come we don't? But I do. Glory! I'll give you around. I'll yell in a minute. I don't know how y'all can hold it. I don't know how y'all can get it. I'm surprised that y'all have that kind of attitude. I consider myself a strong little man. Oh my God. When the Spirit of God will hoop out everything inside of me, everything. My face gets twisted, sweat runs down, I lose my composure. My education will be just as Just that 
stuff around right now.
God. I can bind the princes of this world in the high places of God. I can execute the judgments of God in the high places. I can take back the parade in the high places of God. Principalities must fall. Powers must steal. In the high places of God, the spiritual beings of darkness must flee from the light of God's perpetual glory. Yeah. I heard the words of the Holy Spirit again. 
But I wouldn't expect the guy to say, yeah, you going again, but you're going my way. All right, going. Oh, yes, I thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. to me. Oh, God. Believe it or not, I don't even want to preach this. I want to holler. Yeah. Jesus. I just want to praise oh, God and yell. Yes. I know that sounds like a lot of people in the church. You got to hear the word. You know, we need the word. But I got to praise the Lord. Oh, I have a shot on my poor house. I see that in my sight. I saw that I'm not going to die.
choose to praise him. Yes, Lord Jesus. He says, I'm going to praise him. Oh, my Lord. The Bible says, with my whole heart. I think I need to take the reservation off. I need to take the brake system off. Bro. See, look, my brake system is I don't want to act too wild. But my brakes is not, I don't want to break down. My brakes is not, I don't, I don't want to lose my, uh, you know, my composure. My brakes is not, I don't want my, I don't want my stuff messed up. I, oh, well. I, I, I don't want to mess up my manlyhood. You know? I want to still look manly. You know, I, I, want, I, I want to mess up my dainty, you know, female features.
the job. The moment in which I was kept by the hurricane winds of hell, who was I was preserved when the adversary above me was stomping on my terrain. My God, my mind, I was preserved by the anointed grace of all my God. On the nights I laid my head in my pillow and I thought this is it. I'm going to wake up and ask for Brother Elder. One more problem. I can't face one more disappointment. I can't take one more heartache. I can't face one more complication. I can't take one more agony. I can't take one more pain. I can't take one more needless virtue. Suddenly the spirit of the God in my worst form, in the deepness of my own death, reached down into the muddy flames of my own degradation. It's a way to the Judy remember. Be down here with you, uh, and you can't stay here uh, because I don't belong here, uh, and I gotta pick you back up uh, because I told you you were blessed. Uh, you were blessed laying down, uh, and you were blessed ooh, when you rose up. Uh, you were blessed coming up, uh, and you were blessed going up. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, and I bless them that will bless you. I curse them that will curse you. But you're blessed. I kept waking up and I tried to read. My mind was 
been filled with so many things that I took a little small hour and nap and woke back up again. Because God wasn't done with me yet. But oh, he was depositing something inside of me. Something when the rising of the sun took place. Um, the ability of what he put in me would start manifesting itself. Um, what I didn't have on yesterday, I got on today. Showed up this morning, but I couldn't face on last night. I could face it when the rising of the sun, and if I couldn't face it this morning, I got it tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. The greatest thing is he didn't want you to come to church. He didn't want you to come to church. Please understand what I'm going to tell you. Yeah. When you. When you feel like you don't want to come to church, it's because the devil knows something's going to happen and he can't stop. Ooh. He knows because somebody's been praying all day long. Yes. See, somebody had praise in them all day long. Yes. Somebody got a fire striker coming into service tonight. Yes. Somebody's a mastic tonight. Who by a sheep? Yes. Get them to church, he's gonna strike or she's gonna strike a flame. Yeah. And what the devil was using the whole just gonna dissolve around you while you're sitting yeah. here. Yeah. When you're gonna give a hallelujah on the way here, yeah. what you got here, yeah. your mouth would be yeah. wide enough. Yeah. Oh, while your mind would be wide enough. Yeah. 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 The spirit of the living God yeah. has walked up and down the house of your yeah. mind and said, That's yeah. enough. Why am I going to the same old, same old? Just stay home tonight. Just relax. It's been a long day. You're tired. Your body don't feel good today. You really ain't got the gas to make it. Amen. You better praise God. You better have a sight. But see, there's something else going on. Yes. Please hear me tonight, my beloved saints of God. There's something going on. These areas that could hold you yesterday are being broken today. Those thoughts that could find your mind from moving toward God are losing their ability to keep you in one location. They're beginning to melt down. Woo! <laughs> you can feel the, the pressure of dying inside you because before they were starting to make you say, well, Lord, I'll go, but I'm not really going to do it. But now you're sat here, you started praising God, don't know why you're praising God. You got a hallelujah on them. You got something moving inside you that you didn't have when you first stepped in the building. Something's transpiring, and the devil's still alive. He's alive. He's alive. When you get when you get home, it's gonna be the same. You can say yes, it is, but not me. God is trying to have a change the situation that will change you. Hallelujah. See, you had me at home because I didn't understand, but now when I go home, you in trouble. See, when I go home tonight, you in trouble because I'm not gonna holler like you expect me to. I ain't even gonna argue. I'm gonna whisper a word. One little sentence in the name. And then I'll break out praising God like I lost it. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm gonna just break out praising God. I don't need a reason why I praise God because I'm gonna break out praise God. you're standing there, I'm gonna break out praise God. While you're complaining, I'm gonna break out praise God. While you're trying to tell me about the scenario and your condition, I'm gonna break out praise God. You all think I lost my mind. I'm praising God because I'm feeding you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, you've been so besieged, but ain't no place for it to grow. Because my crowd has been elevated outside of your reach. Woo! So that little statement that we always say, a seed sown in a tree grown, guess what? Not on this soil. <laughs> if it ain't a holy seed, it can't hit this soil. The reason why, because now this soil is anointed, and if it don't come to God, it gets burned up by the glory of God. Come on, come on. You're worried about this, you're worried about that. 
You're worried about the family, you're worried about your family, you're worried about the sage, you're worried about your money, you're worried about your bills, you're worried about your health. Oh, with the nuts you are laid down and all that worry. If you grasp me what I'm saying, I'm trying to show you something. This is not just a church thing. You wake up tomorrow morning and not knowing what God's going to do, and that's what living by faith is. Yes. Yes. But when those doors swing open, you're going to run through them. Yes. See, sometimes you can hesitate because you're not sure. Yes. You know you're not sure because you messed up some way and makes you a doctor. Well, God got a first to appear for a doctor, so when I say move, move. Hallelujah. Yes. When I say move, move. Hallelujah. I know it looks too good to be true, but move anyway. I know the devil too will try to set you up. You better trust me now. I'll let him get in it so I can make him bless you through it. I'll let the devil get in it and make him bless you through it. My God. <laughs> See, I'm going to hear that part. I'll say it again. I'll let you. I will let the devil get in it. All right. And then make him bless you through it. I'll make him do good to you if you don't want to. I'll make him give you what you should have had. I'll make he make him try to hurt you. He'll be messing with your name. Hallelujah. They're going to want to argue, and you're going to want to give God the glory. And when they're going to argue, they're going to give you what you want anyway. Hallelujah. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Hallelujah. And you be like, oh, the devil, the devil. Okay, the devil's here, but that's all right. God said, I sent them. I brought them on the scene. I'm the one who created them. This is my purpose. Yes. Hallelujah. I want him on your job. All right, God. So you can shine in my name. And when you don't shine right, I'm still going to bless you. He's been trying to fire you for so long, he can't remember how long he started. He can't get rid of you because I keep walking beside you. Hallelujah. 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 All of a sudden, all the people that talked about you see you're blessed. The stress and worry is all of a sudden gone off your face. You're so glad that you can't see They use you living a, a mundane lifestyle, stuck in a condition, and all of a sudden, you're so blessed, and they don't know where it came from. God hid you while he blessed you.
The pastor can't be there. Deeper. People used to they didn't love me. They was all around me. I don't care. I told them to stay away from me. I blinded them to you purposely. Thank you, Jesus. They don't want to hear from you. Oh, stay away. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I thought family, saints, and trolls. Yes, all of them. But the, but the church, no, the church can't do it. I blind you to the church too. The church is not allowed to do Thank nothing you. because this time I want to cheat your high dream. But my family, that's okay. I know you depend upon your family. But I'm going to block them off too. Yep. I'm going to do it by making them get aggravated with you. Yep. Thank you Lord. And when they get aggravated, they're going to bring an argument on yourself. And when I say things are going to hurt your feelings, I want you to do it on purpose because you believe the lie in the first place. I told you that you want to die. You won't listen to me. Outside the church didn't know me, not anymore. Sweet Lord. I was on the circuit, the circuit closed down. And your name was off the bulletin board. I, oh, you don't hear me. If they did call you to speak, I ain't gonna let you go. Even one ago, I ain't gonna let you go. I would put in your heart not to want to. Y'all hear what I just said? The places you used to go on and sit down and feel fellowship in, God cut that off. Well, I know nobody else, amen, that he loved me. He don't love me as much as he did yesterday because God cut you off. But that's my boo. He ain't your boo right now. God took the fire of your boo and made it isolated. But they were crazy about you last week. They hardly want to know your name this week. My God, my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm saying, yes. you, you're looking at it like, oh. Thank you, no. Thank you, Lord. Thank God, you, God. 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 I'm tired of trying to do for them. I'm going to do for you, and you can't have them with you. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. This is not for Jesus. them. This is for yes. you. Hallelujah. You gave me all your blessings. This blessing you can't give me. Oh. That's for me. That was for me. Yeah. You can't give away your blessing. You gave away enough of your blessings. That's why you ain't got none. Oh my God. Oh, y'all leaving me out. Oh, y'all leaving me out. We've given away our harvest, thinking we've been doing the right thing. I said, amen. I only asked you for a tip. I didn't tell you to give them the other night. Oh my God. Wow. You I told have... you to fill your barns and give me the praise. Wow. I send you the ox, you eat the corn that you're threading out. I ain't telling you all the corn to everybody. Wow. Oh, thank you. You're yes. Yes. I want you to sit down right now and calculate how much you give it compared to how much you receive. And you'll find out that the amen, the bottom number, that yes. we're less than zero. Yes. <laughs> but God said, I need you at zero. Because as long as you got something, you're not going to hear me. As long as you got your intelligence, you're not going to pay no attention to my wisdom. As long as you got your ability, you're not going to pay no attention to my anointing. As long as you can figure it out, you don't need to talk to me. But I'm putting you in a place where you ain't got no choice. I'm putting you in a place where you ain't got no choice. The people you depend on to support you ain't going to be there to support you. Because I didn't design them to support you. I did not design them to support you. They are not your crutch. I'm your foundation. Thank Next time you preach, you're going to preach what I told you. If you're found at the dead platform, they won't want you there no more. Hallelujah. Because they were the ones that built you up the first time. They were the ones that made you what you were. They instituted, amen, your style and your, your profile. I eradicated all of that. Y'all still with me? I only got 20 more minutes. So you want it to work the way you want to work, and God said it doesn't work the way I want you want to work, it works the way my will says. God said, I've waited years and years for you to reply. Now I'm going to step in and make you obscure. I'm going to 
hurt everybody you know to you. When you was a prince, I'm going to make you a beggar. My God. Oh, you got to hear what I'm saying? I'm going to put you in a place where all you can do is beg. You're going to face it just like beg. You have to walk like a beg. I'm teaching you how to beg so you'll know how to get right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm making sure that I won't fill up your barrel of flour and make your, your, your cruise to, uh, a top of oil. I'm giving you enough to make it day by day. And I'm keeping the famine around you for a reason. So you can't plant like I can tell you to plant. Because at the appointed time, I'm going to end the famine. Oh, yeah, I'm going to end the famine. But not till I made you rich. Rich in my glory. Rich in my power. Rich in my presence. Rich in my might. Why? Because I spared you a little bit each day at a time. I got you kind of tatted because the next time I dress you up, you're going to wear your royal diadem well. The next time I put my slippers on your feet, you'll walk on the right pathways. Anybody in this church do what you I heard your praise and I seen it get marred by your action. I'm going to change all that for you. You're trying to get the praise you had. I don't want that praise. It's no good anymore. This praise is coming from a different location. It's not crazy what you think I'm going to do. This praise is what I've already done. Oh, God, that feels so good in you. You understand what I'm saying, Joe? The praises that he's talking about. I know you know how to pray, man. I don't want the way you know. I want the way I teach you. I want you to move so fast that nobody knows you're going to do it. Hallelujah. I don't want you to know you're going to holler till I can holler. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to send you to my house with a bubble in your stomach, and the bubble will be my praise. Yes. That nervousness that you're going to feel coming to church is the bubble with God's praise in the middle of it. I will make you pop if you get a service. Hallelujah. Thank you. Well, God, you're going to give me some money. I'm going to give you better than money. I'm going to give you grace. Yes. Yes. That's your whole problem. You trusted your money last time. I pray got you. Right. Yes. Yes. I'm going to move you from where you are because where you've been ain't no good to you. You're too accustomed to the way it was. I gotta change your entire location. I had to put you in a strange place so you can stop finding your way back to your homeland. Because I'm giving you a new home. Hallelujah. You are a pilgrim. Yes. Yes. I told you where you put your feet belong to you, you gotta clean it. Hallelujah. Make sure that we'll give it to you. All right, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise my name over it. Hallelujah. Magnify the Lord over time. Oh God, my, 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 my honey, my saints, my, 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 my children. What about them? I'll take care of them. I'll put them in my will for them. This is for you. Don't worry about them giving blessings. I'm not giving them your blessings. They had enough of your blessings. They took it and gave you nothing back. Did y'all all hear what I said? They took it and gave you nothing back. They made you feel obligated to give, but you didn't have to give. And when you were spiritually and emotionally destitute, when you were broken down on the side of your bed, weeping all night long, God said it was me standing there with you. I held you in my arms. They didn't call me. I called you in the middle of the night. Hallelujah. It wasn't them who spoke to you. It was me. When you woke up and couldn't find them, I was still staring at you. I kept you when they wasn't there to hold up one thing. But because you kept a little fire. Because you had an anger, just an anger. When you felt like you were going to give it all up. When you had the towel in your hand to throw it in the middle of the ring. When you was ready to 
have turned your back because you were so tired of your life. You were so miserable of what you were going through. That little amber of fire caused God to say, not so. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I gotta tell you the bad part. Nobody's gonna understand this outside of you. They're going to be seeing things happen and they don't understand. They're looking for the outside first, but the guy got the inside together. He's working at the inside right now. So when the outside does come, that's not, that will not be the reason why you give me praise. Your praise will start right now with the inside of being healed. See, it's one thing for you to have a wound and the wound healed, but God said, i got to remove the scars because the scars are not living in your mobility. If you know anything about scars, if it scars you better, it limits your mobility. Yeah. I gotta move the scars so you can move. Yeah. I gotta watch you move. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I know you're not bleeding. I know any man is healed, but because that scars there, you can't. You have the range of motion in the spirit. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm getting too deep. No, that's all right. But you have the range of motion because you would let me take you to therapy. I need to be stretched you like you needed to be stretched. You kept protecting your little wing. Yes. And now your arm is drawn up. Your elbow is locked up. Now I gotta pull it out. I gotta put some more troubles. Until it snaps out the way I want. This is the end of your therapy when I get the range of motion that I want my whole life. Charlie, when I get the range of motion, I want Mama back. Jesus. With binding me. Confident that maybe I could do this. You've been caught 
in a place where you ain't been able to walk. Your legs, your spiritual legs become useless to you. They don't have the power to see the whole job. God all I need you to do is make the first step. I power your legs to make the rest of it. It wasn't long before I was walking. Walking and then I was hopping. Then I was running on a treadmill. Then I could do sit-ups and squats because the range of motion came back in the body. And God said, I gotta, I gotta undo what the devil did. He put you back in a fetus position and I called you to stand upright. I have to straighten out your spine because you've been crooked. I gotta pull your legs back down and put you horizontally because you've been vertical too long. And I know it's going to hurt, but I got to do it because you caused this on yourself by curling and hiding. Amen. For what's going on in your life. I said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Get up! Because my word declares, rise and shine. For the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. The devil is lying. Did that be that lie to you? You thought you couldn't make it. Look at you taking those steps. Look at that range of motion coming back. Look at it, Charlotte, it's coming back a range of motion. Look at it, Mama, back a range of motion. Look at it, Elder. And then the range of motion is coming back. But you can just move here. Woo! Now you can pull it back just a little bit. Well, you can, well, you only got, got, got you said, her, her back got, got something in it. And yes, she has a range of motion in bending she shouldn't have. You know why she got a range of motion? Because she let praise go down her spine and cause this metal device that's full of plastic to stretch beyond the measure of this impossible. That's called faith. They told her she'd dance or jump too much, it would, it would cause her back damage. She, she, the only time she stopped dancing is when she was going through. But guess what? I we got to bring it back. Yes. Hallelujah. We that got diabetes, we don't want to exert ourselves because then we get that sick feeling afterwards. They may get that low blood sugar stuff. But God said, let me get in the praise. I'll regulate your blood sugar for you. But you got to get me so I can get inside of you. So you got to understand when I'm, I'm believing it, that I'm believing those things that get it. You call natural. I believe the simple service say die. Yes. Yes. I don't even believe that if you begin to praise God, right? The blood of Jesus will replace the blood you got. Yes. You got to hear what I'm saying. And I don't even praise him like you lost your mind. Yes. You got to understand what I'm saying? The kind of praise I'm talking about is not that gentle church praise that we cute yes. I'm talking about I don't know who's up in here. Got the Holy Ghost but me. <laughs> I'm going to kind of praise you so everybody else is nervous when you got it. <laughs> because every time you permit the anointing of God to rise up, he's correcting the problem of your spirit, the problem of your soul, and the problem of your body. Yes. The only reason the day why he's coming over here is because they think they got to pray. I'm trying to tell you something. The, the man should be dead, but pray said not so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right here. A woman's in a coma holding on to a Bible for seven days. Jesus. To be brain dead, but praise kept her. We have got to bring this praise so bad as more entertainment than a power. It is the power of God. It is the strength of heaven. The devil has no weapon to overcome your praise. He has no ability to stop it. He has no skill to move it. Once it's intact, once it's in place, once it has taken over, once it has overwhelmed you, there's not a weapon in his arsenal that can stop you. Because I, I need to put it in its proper stack. Ah! You, God, 
want you to clap. Uh, oh, clap your hands on you. He wants you to jump. He doesn't mind the dancing. But it is the sound of your voice. That makes heaven move. You understand? It's what you said.
to change the flavor of things. Oh, my Lord. Y'all look at him. Then you would you would you would look for silver and God gave you a diamond. Oh Lord. You know how you see the you see the diamond, the diamonds inside the silver. You gotta break the case and that's why nobody knew it was inside out of us about to do it. Yeah. Just about to about to do. But the real stuff, the real good stuff. It's pretty as the vice you know it's hand crafted, right? Yeah, the vice about it's hand crafted. It's made out of a particular kind of wood. And then studded in various jewels, but as pretty as it was on the outside. It was was in the inside. Oh yeah, keep calling out my shack and I got my it's that it was the Because that's even unrealistic. 
That's just plain old unrealistic. That's just plain old unrealistic. God said, I don't know what you're talking about. The body's made out of dirt. It's going to look bad later on down the road. It's going to stink sometimes. The hair is not going to be that right. You waste all your time just the outer person, and the inner man is dying. Nice. And when somebody can look at you and say, Here, this is what the word of God says. God got a hold of you here. Yes. That is the reason why some of you say you're going to be blessed right now, because these changes are going on here. Yes. This is going to change. This is going to alter. Yes. God knows you're not what you were six months ago. You're not what you were a month ago. Then it pushes itself upward. 
You try to pull up some grass with your hands, see what happens. I don't care who you are, it takes some strength to pull up a handful of grass out of the ground. That's what God's trying to tell you. If they want to pull you up, they ain't going to work for it. Because it will not be easy. He's developing you in the dark to let you shine in the light. God bless you.